we have been consistently maintaining that the emphasis for bringing more women to productive uh, activities will have to be continued. And that is why in economic survey yesterday, you saw the figures that from somewhere close to 2018, 16.7% to 37, women's participation in workforce has been highlighted in the economic survey. So in the last 10 years, where we started with a simple Beti Pachao, Beti Padao to bringing more women and incentivizing women in work and providing them, you know, loans to uh, uplift them, even in this budget, we have given emphasis for land and property registration for women. So like that, at every stage when we center focus on women, it has brought in a bit of a mind change, mindset change. Uh, like the way in which in the rural areas, drone Didi has actually not just made women to be able to operate drones, but the mindset in the village that our women can just not do... Uh, our regular kitchen work, but here are they in the fields which are essentially male dominated. Only for the haranguing, monotonous physical labor deweeding the field do you find women coming. But here in the villages, women are operating drone, drone, they are able to make assessment of the crop density, they are able to use it for spraying uh, fertilizer chemical and so on. And if this is how villages and their mindsets are changing towards women, it gives them a prominence. So in many of the, that is why if you remember last time, we had come up with a special savings scheme, Mahila Samman Bachat Nidhi. Mm -hmm. What a response we had in it. Because people realize saving in the name of women actually helps. They've come out to help, you know, invest, women have themselves come out and women themselves are saving in some other, their child or their mother's names. Right. So, this government has not lost an opportunity in bringing to focus women and women's needs, whether it is the simple sanitary pad, which Honorable PM spoke about, even from Red Fort, you can see the priority is given for women.